Chartists, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am the Chartist, and today we had a pretty interesting day. Pretty interesting day. All right. Now here's why I say that. Now, last week, this is on the November 12th. In my Discord, I said the plan today was 467 price target for the spy, which we hit. And the 467 hold, the next price target, price target was 468.5. Guess what? That price target got hit, and that's around where it opened. Beautiful price action. However, as you can see, SPY fell down for most of the day from this falling uh, trend line right here. Okay, That was our resistant level. Remember, I always tell you guys, you short at resistance. You don't short at support. You short at resistance. You look for buying opportunities at support, which is what I was trying to do. Now today, uh, today I was looking at the 465, no not 465, yes I was, the critical, critical support today was 467.5 and then 465, okay, I got in around 467.5, alright, and then it dipped lower all the way down, I had a, I had my stop loss set around 466, so I got, uh, excuse me, 467, so I got stopped out. Okay, no problem. And then I wanted to see if 465 got hit, all right, which is around the five-day moving average and all the way down here where we have this triangle pattern, okay, because this is a triangle, triangle. You guys see the triangle. All right, I was hoping to get it off and pick some more uh, call options off of the support. It never even went that low. So my next thing was I look at the one-hour chart, and, of course, I was watching the bull flag, Okay, we lost the bull flag. That's when I got stopped out. And I mentioned to my Discord members, I'm going to look for the recapture if we get a recapture. Did we get a recapture, guys? Yes, we did. We got the recapture. I got back in around 467, so I got even lower. All right, I took a small loss, got even lower. And as you can see, the SPY is jumping up beautifully right now. Okay, so my, my price target for tomorrow is most likely going to be 468. Okay, but it doesn't mean that we're gonna, it's gonna break out. It'd be nice if it did, okay? So remember I told you, told you guys, when you see these bold flags, okay, those are basing patterns, they're strength building patterns, okay? Also, sometimes when you get these breakdowns, sometimes they become false breakdowns, and you wanna enter on the recapture. We got the recapture, so we'll see, all right? I'm still bullish to the upside right now, okay? And I do wanna mention that seasonality, we are around this area. Okay, around this area. Seasonality is weak. All right, the Santa Claus rally should start next week. But I also want to mention to you guys, as I mentioned in a previous video, seasonality is based on average for the last 20 years. On average, the SPY does not have to follow this precisely. Okay, now the direction of the SPY, according to seasonality, has been pretty spot on. Pretty eerie, if you ask me. Pretty eerie, which makes me suspicious. Okay, and that's why I continue I continue to use the seasonality, but I, you got to keep in the back of your mind. If we can see this, so can the market movers, those market manipulators on Wall Street. Okay, guys, so keep that in mind. Don't put too much weight in this. All right, there's a chance that it does not follow. There's also a chance that the Santa Claus rally begins early. All right, so remembering corrections. There's a correction with deep selling and there's correction through time. Okay, guys. So there's always a chance that the SPY can just go sideways, all right? But right now, we got this triangle pattern, and even though seasonality says a certain thing, guess what? The chartist goes by price action. So for me to be bearish, we have to lose 465. If we lose 465, I will definitely be more bearish to the downside. We could hit 460. We could even go lower than 460 down to here. Show you guys. Right there. And hit my and hit around 458 me all right maybe even lower but we'll see but if it does get around this area this zone I'm definitely gonna look for buying opportunity if we do low, lose 465 that's a juicy move to the downside and I will be looking to bet to the downside okay but I'm only gonna bet to the downside if the price action tells me to okay because the price action is king right now we are in a strong bull trend all right we're still in a strong bull trend and we are in this triangle pattern, all right? SPY is still closing above all the moving averages, as you can see. That's the 5. I made it a little thicker. That's the uh, the 13, the 20, okay? The, uh, the 50 days right there, okay? Our moving averages are all stacked. 
Spy is closing above the moving average. I would have liked to see Spy come down and test the 465 uh, support level, but it didn't, okay? I did re-enter on the recapture. We'll see if it'll work out for me tomorrow. If you guys were bullish today because you guys are following the price action, hopefully it works out. If you guys short it from resistant, I'm pretty sure you guys made some money, okay? That's a good place to enter. Remember, you're always short from resistant. Go long at support. Let's take a look at the VIX. VIX over here, okay? VIX is looking bearish still, okay? It's an up day from this day, all right? VIX had an up day. The SPY had a down day. VIX had an up day. But look, look where it got rejected from the five-day moving average, okay? That's why I tell you guys, if in a strong bear market or a bear trend, we get lots of rejection from the five-day moving average. And that's exactly what we got today. So a bearish VIX is what? A bullish SPY, okay, guys? So we're going to follow the price action. All right. Now, remember what I tell you, we're still trading based off this triangle pattern. All right. We get that breakout. It puts 472, 473 in place. So if you see SPY closing above 469, OK, and you're bearish, you might want to change your mind. OK, of course, if we um, get the breakout, watch out for the false breakout. OK, look to if it breaks out and it comes back down, look for the recapture to the downside. If it breaks 465. That's bearish sign, but if it goes up and that's a false breakdown, change the sentiment to the upside, okay? We want to make money, and we make money by following the price action, not following the news, all that crap, okay, guys? If you disagree with me, then go ahead and disagree with me. It's all good with me. Either way, we're going to make some money, all right, guys? So that's what I got for the SPY. Watch for the breakout to the upside. Watch for the breakdown to the downside. Remember, if you're bullish, buy a support. If you're bearish, short at resistance moving on to triple q look at that beautiful price action triple q unlike the spy triple q actually came down to support and as, as soon as it hit the support boom we got some buying pressure looking good all right but it closed on this candle around 394.70 and today it closed at 394.63 so seven cent different triple q pretty much went nowhere Okay, but we're gonna like the spy. We're gonna watch for the, either the breakout or the breakdown. And look at the triangle; it's getting very tight, guys. So tomorrow's price action is gonna tell us a lot. All right. So what I want you guys to watch for tomorrow: three ninety-three point three is the support for tomorrow, and three ninety-six point seven will be the resistance for tomorrow. Above the resistance, if we break out, that becomes a new support. Got a full seven price target now. Of course, if we lose three ninety-three. Back to the downside, we're gonna have a nice move to the downside. Let's see how far can we go. All right, we can go as low as the 20 day moving average around 386. We lose that, we can go down to 382. Got a little double top over here. All right, and if that doesn't hold, we can go down to the 50 day. I don't think we'll go down to the 50 day, but hey, you never know. Okay, so if we lose that uh, 392, 393. That's a nice, juicy move to the downside, but if we break above. 396.7, that's also a nice juicy move to the upside. Either way, we can make money in either direction. So don't sway too much to the bulls. Don't sway too much to the bear side. And if you got some friends or some whatever that's arguing with each other, oh, the bulls are better, the bears are better, whatever. Let them argue. Me and you, we don't do that stuff, okay? That's what the 90% of retail traders lose. That's what they do. We don't do that. We follow price action. No emotions attached. Okay, we follow price action. Okay, guys, moving on to RK. RK, looking bearish still. All right, got rejected. It went a little higher than the five-day moving average. Let me make that a little thicker. Make it a little thicker. Yeah, so you guys can see it. Boom, you guys see that red one? Boom. Got it went a little higher, but it closed below. And it looks like it wants to close below the 50-day. The so it closed today at 117.5. The 50-day is at 117.5, so it closed right on the 50-day, okay? So is this a shoulder pattern? We still remains to be seen because the low of this shoulder right here is at 113.46, okay? So we'll see. Right now it's bearish. We'll see if it starts going down and if it will come down and test that blue line, which is the low of this shoulder. If it holds, that's a good sign that this is going to be the right shoulder and we can have some more upside. So this is where I would look to enter the RK and back to the upside. Okay, below that, I will certainly cut my loss. Okay, moving on to Bitcoin. Bitcoin, 
It's looking really ugly, okay? Still bullish. I told you guys I'd be a lot more bearish if we lose this breakout line right here, the blue line right there, okay? Looks like it's just still continuing to chop. Red day, but right here, below 61K, it's very bearish if it breaks below that. I will just take my profits, guys. Take my profits and look for a better buying opportunity. But if you're an investor in Bitcoin, then just ignore what I'm saying because in the long run, I think eventually we'll go up and test that 71K. But right now, it's not looking like it will. Okay, it's closing below the five day, closing is trading below the 13 day, didn't close yet. But it looked like it wants to, right? There's still two hours and 47 minutes left. We'll see where it closes, okay? Of course, for us to be bullish, so really bullish, we need to break that this this line right here. This is a new resistant line right now. Okay, we need to break 65 to 66k above that will be a good sign. We're gonna head up to 71k. All right, guys. So that's what I got for today. Let the price action guide you. All right, don't worry about your opinion. Don't worry about your feelings. Screw the bears. Screw the bulls. We are scalpers. We are traders. We can make money both ways. We are price action traders. Boom. See y'all later.